Hey guys, this is Stephen Hall and by Google. We're here checking out the, uh, the new Google Pixel Book. Uh, first, let's do a quick tour of the hardware. Obviously, it's got a really nice premium aluminum build. Uh, some soft touch plastic here where your wrists are going to sit. Um, and a really tactile uh, uh, trackpad. And on the keyboard, I'd say the keyboard is pretty comparable to uh, the uh, keyboard that shipped with the Pixel C maybe, uh, maybe a little bit nicer than that. Um, it's got a, uh, a dedicated assistant button for activating the assistant. Um, over here on the left side, there's a headphone jack, uh, which the Pixel 2 obviously lacks. Uh, USB-C port, a uh, hardware volume rocker here on the left side. Um, a USB-C port on the right. And alongside with the Pixelbook, Google's also uh, showing off the Pixelbook Pen, uh, which is a $99 accessory, costs extra, and you can just use it normally as a, uh, just as you would a finger. Uh, it's just, uh, you can just use it to navigate the UI. Uh, but you can also, uh, there's also a Google Assistant button on it, so if you have something like a logo here, you can hold the Google Assistant button and draw, circle it. The Google Assistant will pop up here with results. In this case, it's showing, okay, here's this, it, this logo represents Google, the technology company. Uh, we can also do, uh, for instance, we can go to, you head to 9 to 5 Google real quick. Maybe find something else that we can click on, test out. Let's go full screen. Uh, you can scroll down. This is the Pixel 2. I don't know if it'll recognize that. Uh, let's try... Let's try uh, the Google Pixel Bud. See if that see if that shows up. It might be too new since this information is yeah, it's too new. Let's try something else. Let's try uh, this Instagram account. It's a travel Instagram account. Uh, we can circle this this picture. Hold the assistant button. Circle it. And it kind of knows uh, what you're going for, uh, and it's going to tell me uh, that this is Antelope Canyon. So from there, it'll give me the ability to quickly head over to Maps uh, to see where exactly Antelope Canyon is, uh, which is pretty handy. Uh, also, it, uh, well, it's gone now. But it will also give you options to click on YouTube and other uh, content on the web. So this is pulling up Antelope Canyon. Uh, assistant can also be uh, activated just quickly by holding the uh, assistant, uh, or sorry, holding the home button here. Um, and then from there you can type a query such as uh, what is the weather and uh, use the typing version or using uh, interface with the Google Assistant uh, via typing. And then of course, other than that, this is pretty much uh, a Chromebook. Uh, Chromebook running uh, Android apps, obviously, uh, but you can multitask, you can open up the Spotify app, you can play music. Uh, Google says that the laptop gets, uh, uh, looks like, uh, let's see. Okay, well it's playing. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in here. Okay, there we go. It's pretty loud in here, so you might not be able to hear it. Uh, Google says that this laptop gets uh, about 10 hours of battery. Uh, and uh, there are uh, three storage tiers. There's 128 gigs, 500. Uh, sorry, 128 gigs, 256 gigs, 512 gigs. It starts at 9.99. And uh, on the back here, obviously, uh, has the uh, this glass up here that looks very similar to the the glass top third on uh, the original Google Pixel. Um, so that's uh, the uh, Google Pixel book. Uh, we'll have more information. You can head over to 95 Google to check it out closer. We'll have more information in the coming days and weeks when we get our hands on a unit, we can look at it closer. Thanks for watching. This is Stephen Hall with 95 Google. We'll see you in the next one.